Hey there everyone, Dr. Schnig here, and welcome back to another tutorial. Uh, so I finally decided to update my research specs tutorial, what with it being 1.13 and that screwing research specs up. So in this video, using GIMP, we will be creating a research pack from complete scratch. You can do this on any computer as long as you locate your .minecraft folder. To start off, hit Windows R, and this will open a run console and in it you're going to type percent app data percent i already have it typed in so i'm just going to hit okay okay now you're going to navigate to your dot minecraft folder you're going to scroll down and navigate to your versions folder and select the version you want to make a resource pack for since we're doing 1.13 i'm going to do it with 1.13 then uh you're going to need a zip archive opener thingy i'm using 7zip you can use winrar and why not? Those are the only two that I know of. If I'm going to be completely honest with you, we're going to right click this 1.13.jar, 7zip, extract to 1.13 backslash. Alright, so that is going to slowly extract the folder. And while we're doing that, I'm going to start up GIMP. All right, so now that that is fully extracted, we can go into our folder here and we can hit Control A, hold Control and deselect assets and delete the rest. And what you wanna do is you're gonna right click, you're gonna go new and you're gonna set text document. You're gonna name this one pack and you're gonna go over to the dot text part and you're gonna name that part MC Meta and hit enter. You're gonna say yes when the dialog pops up to and you're gonna open it up. If it doesn't open up with a different thing by default, then just make sure you locate your notepad file and a .dx file and whatever. Anyway, so what you wanna put in is this. I'm actually going to contain this in the description. Now, there we go, I just rearranged the thing a bit. So uh, if your notepad file, by the way, doesn't look like this, then uh, it's fine, it's completely fine. Uh, you're just gonna go format font if you want to change it from the default But I, I just changed it to this because I think it's easier to read and whatnot So now I have this so I will explain what this is pack format this number tells whether or not it is a 1.13 resource pack So if you were to change this to one then I believe it would be a 1.8 resource pack And it would only say that it's compatible in that version but if you were to change it to two, then in 1.9, it would say that it's a compatible resource pack. I, I don't know how the other numbers go. You can Google it somewhere. I might even keep the link to the thing in the description or just the list of it. But uh, yeah, then the description, this is what you'll see in Minecraft when your pack is shown there. I'm just going to say that uh, this is a temporary 1.13 resource pack or tutorial okay and uh, when you're done with that just save that and you're going to have your pack on that file so now what you want to do is you're gonna go into GIMP I'm just gonna set this to full screen if your toolbars aren't arranged like this that's fine I just have it arranged like that from working in GIMP previously you can go file new and you're gonna go on our advanced options, background color, transparency. J just click and drag if it keeps doing this thing. And uh, you're gonna set this to 128 by 128 pixels. Hit okay. And it should create your new image. So if we, dang, I'm gotten used to Photoshop, anyhow. So I think N is the default hotkey for the pencil tool, but if not, you can just go around here and navigate. So it's a big bracket, like a close bracket to increase brush size and open bracket to decrease it. I'm just gonna set it to this and uh, I don't know, let's, let's just do a, a smiley face and then if we do paint bucket and switch that around and switch around the colors here, then we can do that. And now you need the path of your folder. So you're gonna right click up in this bar and click copy addresses text. And you go file, export as. You're gonna paste that text in here and then you're gonna save it there.
when it prompts you about the compression level and whatnot, you gotta understand the lower the compression level, the lesser the loss of the quality, but the bigger the image file. So I, I usually put it at six or seven, maybe even five. I'm just gonna put it at seven for this tutorial. So we can minimize GIMP for the time being and reopen our Minecraft folder. So now we should have all our things here, our pack.png file, which is 128 by 120 pixels. Then we have our pack.nc metal file and our assets folder. Okay, so you're gonna select all this. Uh, actually, you're just gonna create a new folder and uh, name it 1.13 resource pack or whatever you want your resource pack to be called. And you're gonna move all these into there. All right, now to edit textures, you're gonna go into that again. You're gonna go to assets. Not sure why that is there. Minecraft textures. And then you're gonna go into whichever folder you wanna edit the texture for. So let's do a ladder, right? Because uh, if you wanna make a 3D block, a ladder is the way to go. So um, just type in LAD here or you can go into the search thing and type in LAD and it should come up and then right click, edit with GIMP. Actually, you won't have that option. File, new, and then here where it says 120 by 128, you're gonna do 16 by 16 or whatever resolution you want your texture to be. Then our advanced options, make sure it's from background color to transparency. Hit okay. Now I'll create your new image. And now you're just gonna scroll in. Well, you hold control and scroll in to zoom, or I think you can just hit yeah, plus and minus on your number pad if you have it. You can go here and you find the ladder and you drag it into here. And all right, now you got your what? So we can texture this however we want. And uh, I, I don't know, a good option to know in GIMP. Uh, so, so control A selects all pixels, then you can right click. And I'm just gonna colorize this a bit. Let's set it to like a, a sure a green, green ladder. So the hue changes the color of the thing, right? And then saturation buffs up how strong the color is gonna be or how weak it's gonna be. And then the lightness is how bright or dark it's going to be. So I, I'm just gonna Let's set it to right about there. It looks like some emerald ladders, I guess. And now I'm just going to file, export as folder in your resource pack and to make sure this thing is called ladder.png export replace then set this to whatever you want. And now we have our green ladders texture saved. Launch Minecraft, the most important part. Without this part, without this step, the thing won't work at all. So you actually have to go back in here. If you want to set it to a zip folder, then you can select assets, pack that on CMATA and pack up PNG. Right click, send to compressed zipped folder, and that will set it to a compressed folder and you'll be able to upload it to share with others. Uh, but if you still want to edit your resource pack, then just select the folder, uh, hit Control C or Control X, whatever you want. This time I'm gonna Control X. I'm gonna cut it out, and then go Minecraft resource packs, R E S really fast on your keyboard in order to highlight it quicker, and then hit Control V just to place it in here. And now if you go into Minecraft and I just sell this resource pack, we can see 1.13 resource pack comes available. And it's got our description, our name, our pack icon, and yeah. Now we can go into single player world and test it out. All right, so I'm in a single player world. Now if we go ladder, and we get our ladder block, then we can place it down, and we've got our green ladders, so yeah. Now you've learned how to edit any texture in Minecraft. Also, keep in mind, different textures are in different directories, but we will get into those textures in later videos.